So the iMac Pro 18 core has finally shipped. I uh, got it a couple days ago, have set it up, and have been doing a little bit of stress testing on it because uh, I know there's been a lot of people sort of wondering about how does it hold up with the thermals on a device that's got an integrated uh, cooling system with only two fans, um, not a big fancy cooling system like you'd expect on a high core count thing. Uh, I saw that the Linus Tech Tips folks had uh, seen a little bit of throttling on the 8 core version of the iMac Pro, um, but obviously uh, these, these 18 core versions have only just started uh, arriving. Um, one of the things that I do is a lot of 3D rendering using a program called LuxRender. I'm using uh, version 1.6 here. And I have had this running, as you can see, for uh, almost 10 hours now with it pounding away, uh, consuming full CPU. Uh, I've got the activity monitor up here. You can see that uh, the QuickTime player that I'm using to record this is taking up a little bit of CPU at the moment, but basically for having 18 cores, 36 hyper-threaded, um, you can see that CPU-wise it's floating around that 3,600%, 3, which would be 36 cores at 100% CPU. You can see down here, overall system utiliz utilization is basically 100, and nice solid graph here. And like I say, this has been going for about 10 hours. And I also installed the Intel Power Gadget, and you can see it's pretty well floating around the 135-ish mark, give or take a little bit. Uh, the frequency seems to be fairly consistent as well at you know, about 2.7, 2.8 bolt bumps around. The package temperature, the CPU temperature is very consistent. And then also here's the overall utilization, which again shows that the system's basically capped out. And this window here that I'm moving the mouse in um, the, is the Lux render that is actually running on the Mac. Uh, so you can see it's got the 36 threads, and you can see it's averaging around 100k samples per second. You know, looks bumps around a little bit. It's never consistent, 100% consistent, but it's pretty much floating in the 100k range. Uh, for comparison's sake, this green window over here is Lux Render that's running on a Linux server that I've had for. A while now. It's a Dell R630 uh, with two 20 core Broadwell based Xeons. And as you can see, the Mac, even after running for almost 10 hours, is basically doing almost the same performance as the Broadwell that has two more cores and is a slightly older generation of server class. CPU. Um, Lux uses a fair amount of memory. I'm the render it's working on right now is a wallpaper sized render 5K. It's using 27 gigs of RAM. Um, if I was doing a poster size render, Lux would chew up upwards of 80 gigs of RAM, which is why the um, 128 gigs of the iMac Pro is appealing to me where in the older uh, 5K iMac, regular iMac, which caps out at 64 gig, uh, doesn't work because I would exceed the physical RAM. And if you're familiar with Lux, you'll know that because it touches all of its memory all of the time because of the way uh, ray tracers work, um, it would pretty much just kill the machine swapping. Um, so going to keep this short. Um, the gist of it is that when I started it this morning, 
these were pretty much the same numbers as it is showing now so it hasn't slowed down uh, over time uh, as it heated up in fact it pretty much heated up and went to these stats that you see here in the Intel power gadget uh, almost instantaneously uh, within you know 60 seconds of uh, firing it up this morning so the 18 core model seems to do pretty well if you have an extremely compute intensive task. Uh, I will say that LuxRender is only using the CPU. It is not using the GPU. There is a GPU mode for LuxRender, but it has, um, let's just keep it civil and say consequences. So I tend to prefer to render in CPU only mode. Um, and that means lots of cores spread out across lots of um, uh, rendering nodes. Um, actually, like the, like say the Dell R630, you see your screen zero is one socket and then screen one is the other socket. So it's doing about double what the iMac Pro is because it's got two, um, two CPUs in it, two sockets instead of one. But still, um, for being an 18 core workstation uh, this seems to be uh, holding up pretty well for compute raw compute hope this was helpful um, and thanks cheers